Information is power. Through information sharing, we work together as East Africa combating transnational organized crimes. It is uh, very difficult for one country to be able to work independently to combat crime. Interpol is implementing the Interpol East African Community Project in the six East African countries, Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. Crime is now not within a border, but beyond a border. And what affects you affects your neighbor. Therefore, the police has to work also transnationally to be able to address and deter these criminal activities. In the region, we have human trafficking, drug trafficking, trafficking in wildlife trophies, theft of motor vehicles, trafficking in illicit weapons. Proceeds of these crimes fund other crimes, including terrorism. Terrorism has been in this region for a while now. Al-Shabaab, Allied Democratic Forces, and the Lord's Resistance Army, among others, have continued to unleash terror and insecurity in the East African region. Considering that the criminals work hand in hand, so should we so that we have a concerted effort that can equally or even better manage and address these criminal activities. L'évolution des modus operandi des aides criminels change du jour au jour, ce qui euh, nécessite que les officiers du, du BCN et la police en général euh, soient à, à mesure aussi à, à d'évoluer. The Interpol East African Community Project has invested in modernizing the national central bureaus, which are very central to Interpol operations, ensuring that there is coordination of Interpol activities among the six countries. The modernization comes in form of a computer, fixing or, or, or installing a state of the art or the modern routers for communication. We believe that this IESC modernization component has made our national central bureaus to be more productive, to provide a conducive working environment for the officers that sit within these NCBs. Interpol also is doing a lot in the areas of uh, training and capacity building. Training we are receiving through Interpol is helping the member states to improve their work and performance and handling the crimes in general. All countries have their individual jurisdictions and criminals understand this very well. But through Interpol, we are able to link you. That's why we have a system which is known as I-247. I-247 is an Interpol system of secure communication that is available to all Interpol member countries and they're able to share information with each other. Frontline officials have access to over 124 million records. Then it means that they are able to stop any unwanted individuals from coming into the country to cause problems within the region. Ultimately, we believe that with the presence of the I-247 communication system, we'll increase information sharing, we'll enhance regional collaboration, and at the end of the day, enhance border security within our region. As we know, criminals work together. Criminals communicate. So I-247 enables different police agencies also to work together make sure that people's life and their property are secure, are protected. So we are ready, we are well equipped. We have the system, we have the equipment to handle any transnational criminal or national criminal who is participating in these crimes. Interpol through the project does a lot 
to enhance our law enforcement in the region to work together. We are happy with this project because it has enabled our law enforcement to really fight uh, terrorism and other forms of crime. For East Africa, I'm seeing a bright future. I'm quite optimistic that this region will, at the end of the day, emerge victorious from the threats that are posed by terrorism and other organized crime, a stable, more secure East African community. <laughs>